Emissions of greenhouse gases need to peak within the next three years if we're to stave off the worst effects of climate change. And even then, we'd still need new technology to suck carbon dioxide out of the skies by the middle of the century. In their latest report, UN scientists are warning we are on course for devastating changes to our climate. And the head of the UN called out government and business leaders for saying one thing on reducing emissions and doing another. Put simply, he said, they are lying and the results will be catastrophic. Here's our climate editor, Justin Rowland. What the UN has published today is a roadmap for saving the world from the worst of climate change. But it comes with a massive warning. It is now or never. There can be no more broken promises on climate, says the UN. Some government and business leaders are saying one thing but doing another. Simply put, they are lying. And the results will be catastrophic. But there is some good news in today's report, so let's start there. The cost of renewable technologies, wind turbines, solar panels, batteries, have been falling far quicker than anyone expected. As a result, the world is rapidly building solar and wind plants. In fact, last year, 10% of global electricity was generated from renewables, according to a report last week. But, says the UN, harnessing the power of the sun and the wind will not be enough. The report details how we'll also need to change the way we get around, what we eat, how efficient our homes and businesses are, how we farm, how we produce the goods we buy, how we move those goods around and how we protect the natural world. In short, Pretty much everything has to change because pretty much everything we do produces carbon dioxide. It is possible, says today's report, but time is almost out. We've got to peak carbon emissions before 2025, says the UN, and then cut them back by at least 43% by the end of 2030. And then we need to take them all the way down to net zero by 2050. It is a tall order, especially given that emissions are currently going up, not down. What needs to happen is that we need to use all the available tools we have in terms of policies, technologies, and we need to start to use them immediately. If that happens, then it is still possible, just possible, to limit warming to 1.5 degrees. But we'll also need to develop technologies to take carbon out of the atmosphere to balance out those emissions we can't eradicate. Trees are one way, but we'll need high-tech solutions too, and they have yet to be proved at scale. Now, making all these changes will cost money, but it will also deliver huge benefits, says the UN. Your life will probably get better. That is one of the key results, because there are many co-benefits with these, uh, these measures that, that are needed. Better air quality, better health, and more active uh, lifestyles, healthier food systems. The authors of today's report are very clear. They say the fossil fuel era has to end and end very soon. That conclusion, indeed all the conclusions in this report, have been approved by all the governments of the world. So the big question now is will they enable the radical action today's report demands? Well, our climate editor Justin Rowell is here with me. And Justin, the UN has produced many reports on climate change, but surely this is the strongest yet. I think it is. I think what we're seeing here, in a sense, is the UN grabbing the world by the shoulders and shaking it, saying, don't you get it? You know, time is really running out. You have to act now. I mean, they're saying, of course, look, you know, it is possible. We've got the technology. We can do this. But it is a really tough call. You know, I mean, you saw the huge gap there between the trajectory, the direction emissions are going and where we need to go. I mean, really, really challenging. But look, on the plus side, this is, a, this is a document signed by governments. The governments of the world at a time when cooperation is in really short supply have all signed up to this. They're saying we get it, we recognise this science, we will take this action. So as I said in the report, the big question now is will they do it, will they take action? Justin, we'll see. Thanks very much.